quite seemly. It is a matter between two men, and I am the right person to settle it. Two men? Do you call that a man? <laughs> Like a boy, I must make a boy's excuse. He began it, and he's bigger than I am. Ah. <laughs> it's true you didn't begin it, James, did you? No. Oh, you did you do begin it this morning, but your other point is true. I am certainly the bigger, and I'm not the stronger. So you'd better leave the matter in my hands. Yes, dear. Of course you are. <laughs> you must be. I don't understand about this morning. You need not understand. But James, I think the... Oh, bother! Here they all come! Oh, oh Morel, oh, isn't it dreadful? She's angry with us! She hates me! What shall I do to Eugene? My head is spinning round. I shall begin to laugh presently. What shall think I've thrown you into hysterics? Don't laugh! <laughs>
If there be those who would not save the Union unless they could at the same time save slavery, I do not agree with them. If there be those who would not save the Union unless they could at the same time destroy slavery, I do not agree with them. You think that's enough? Is it ever? <laughs> By cracky, let's give him some more, shall we? <laughs> if I could save the Union without freeing any slave, I would do it. If I could save it by freeing all the slaves, I would do it. If I could save it by freeing some and leaving others alone, I would do that as well. That ought to do to him. <laughs> no, 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 no. He needs one thing more. I have here stated my purpose according to my view of official duty and intend no modification of my oft-expressed personal wish that all men everywhere could be free. They'll say I didn't give a damn about the black man, and this letter proves it. Well, let them say it. I must tell you that before this letter was posted, his proclamation of emancipation had already been written and lay in a drawer on his desk. Ground must be prepared. He was using his response to greed as a pretext to assure those in the North who opposed freeing the slaves, and there were many in the North who opposed it, that he had no choice in the matter. I'm going to take this tape. Yes. I'm going to seal your lips shut. Why? You can do that. Oh, stop it. <laughs> now you cannot move lips, can you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I have to make it clear so everybody understands the jokes, right? Mm -hmm. Look out there and go, hello. Uh -huh. Not clear. <laughs> Got to make it clear. <laughs> Are you doing jokes? Yeah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Are you
natural. <laughs> Say good night. Good night. Anyway, thank you for being here. And uh, you have a real jewel in the in the Colony Theater, and I hope that you support it. It's, uh, if you don't support this, uh, then uh, it would be a shame for this theater has gone forever and ever, so that I can come back someday. So I love you and have a good night.